Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queens. And it wouldn't be Cocktails with the Queens without one of the biggest queens out there and one of my favorite queens. Joining us is a reality television personality, LBGT plus uh, activist, and the new host of Fox Hope's new show, Turns Out with T.S. Madison. But before she joins us, (laughs) let's take a look at why Tuesday nights will never be the same on Fox Hope. Uh oh! Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this thing recording? Tuesday nights will never be the same. Oh, yes, honey. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color. But this time, darlings, you are about to get turned out with T.S. Madison. Please welcome T.S. Madison. Hi, Queens. Hello. 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 Hey, man. How oh, are my you? goodness. I feel yeah. so honored to sit amongst such royal, royal beings. <laughs> oh, it's good. Good. Well, <laughs> well, fabulous and looking pretty in pink, darling. Thank you. Well, Vivica, you know what you're giving me? You're giving me very, do you want to ride it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come on. So, Madison, T.S. Madison, welcome. We think we can officially welcome you to the Foxhole family. So now we are all co-workers and co-sisters of the Foxhole Network. And what an (laughs) honor to have you here. Listen, listen, soulmates. Let me tell you something about that Claudia Jordan. Claudia Jordan is a, is she has an eye for, for good things. And she's, she's a really good person, regardless of whatever people may have thought about her. She is a really good person. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, she, she walked me to the table there to talk to James, but it's just because she, <laughs> she, she really is a really good person. And I, and I love her for, for, for put, putting this together. Um, I've been talking about that. I want to be, have my own talk show and be a television talk show host for a very long time, but it's so many obstacles that, you know, come in the way uh, for, for that. And actually I'm dealing with some of that stuff now, you know, while I'm getting the show prepared for tomorrow's uh, debut, um, I do know that it's going to be a very good show. It's very funny, a uh, very informative, you know, slightly messy. Slightly. <laughs> I, I thought they were going to play the clip that I sent you, but I'm glad they didn't. The, girl, the girls are just- the girls are just going to have to get a piece of that tomorrow. I am like waiting for that. I will watch social media when you play that uh, that moment. Okay, ain't nobody I mean, gonna see it. Clyde, ain't nobody gonna pay it no attention. Clyde, they they gonna they gonna be just seeing what's going on. They ain't gonna pay it no attention. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Tess, I'm excited that you have this show. I can't wait to watch it. The trailer looks amazing. Um, but more than you know, even even in your entertainment space, you are an activist for the mm-hmm. LGBTQ plus community, which yeah. I love about you. I mean, I didn't came on your page and had to cuss people out a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't like bullies. Yeah. So, um, but more, you know, so according to PBS and Forbes, 375 transgender people were murdered in mm-hmm. 2021. Yeah. Um, and it, making it the deadliest year on record for the transgender community. Can you talk to us about what do you think America needs to do to better protect the transgender community and especially the African-American transgender community because they seem like to, they seem to be the biggest target. Uh, Well, I can honestly say that for me, I think that the first thing that we have to do uh, for transgender people is to uh, validate our existence, you know, uh, validate our existence as, uh, 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 human beings, you know, I think that lots of times people think that we're, we're so engulfed in sexuality, um, that they, they, they forget that this is our identity, you know, uh, uh, being trans is an identity. It's not a sexuality, you know? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people are so engulfed in that. And they say, well, you know, I, I don't want to protect or care about those people because this is some sexual choice, that they've decided to be. No, this is who, you know, you know, we are. And um, I think that now the, 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 the gift of visibility has been a gift and a curse because the more that we're visible uh, in, in social media and mainstream media and things like that, the more uh, we've become targets and stuff like that, you know, um, for me, it is imperative that I live my life in a very open space because usually when something happens to one of the girls, uh, the, the, the question always comes up, um, did he know or did they know, you know, trying to justify 
a, 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 a murder or, or 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 an abuse against uh, one of one of the transgender people because you know they feel like that we're in this for de- for the acts of deception when we're not deceiving anyone we're being true to exactly who we are. Now mm-hmm. I'm not going to sit up here and act like that you know we're all that we're completely innocent in the whole situation of being you know up uh, up up front. A lot of us do live stealth lives, but there are girls like myself who's who's been kicking the door in and um uh, uh opening up pathways for girls to live outside loud live and in color and be exactly who you are because honey it's a new day and you know it is what it is and, and, oh, that's and right. here. thank you for speaking on that because i know that you get a lot of i'm sorry Vivica, i'm not going to uh, ask a question I just to say you um i know you get a lot of you're an advocate but you also get a lot of criticism that mm-hmm. because you're so big of a personality so every little mm-hmm. thing you do if you don't say things perfectly and I love how you are and you're unapologetic in what you think and yeah. I think that's why so many people gravitate towards you and that's all I just want to say Vivica I'm sorry for that no I mean it's because Claudia it's because Claudia I'm not a monolith like I don't follow like the the the, the line of I have my own identity yes I know that I'm a representation of a large community but I'm also a representation of myself and there are many things that you know a lot of people believe in our community that 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 I might not have those views and opinions or I might have I might not have those ideas but I do respect other people's ideas but but some of those ideas aren't mine you know and and, and just because uh, uh, they believe that way doesn't mean that I necessarily believe you know certain things and I can give you examples if you ask me I can shake the table up <laughs> You know, you're you're absolutely a trailblazer for your community and you've overcome so many obstacles and stuff like that. So let's talk positive. What yes. does it feel for you to have this moment that you're about to have tomorrow night with the premiere of your own show? Well, what does it feel like? Well, Vivica, I will tell you this. I am very nervous because I don't know, you know, like what, what how people are going to, you know, absorb it because this is a uh, Fox is a it's a huge thing. Um, it is also Fox Soul. So yes, Fox it's, Soul. So it's black. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it's me, you know, occupying a space and, and, and opening up the doors for many other trans people to come behind me that, you know, want to host a talk show, or have a talk show and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm, 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 I'm flustered because, you know, we still have little things that we're ironing out, you know, so, yeah. that, so that we can give you a very great show. But overall, I am honored for one. I am immensely blessed for two. Yes. And my gratitude to the to God and to Fox Soul and to Claudia and to everybody that had their hands working in this is like it's 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 so high. Can because, I just tell you one piece of advice? Yes, ma'am. Enjoy the moment. Do, do not let the craziness or whatever, just take the time to smell the roses and enjoy this moment is my only piece of advice being a veteran in the business. Cause there's so many moments I've had that like, I look back and I was like, do I recall? So enjoy the moment. This is amazing for you. Well, I will say this queen, I, I, I do receive that. And I received that because when I, when my television show debuted last year or well, earlier in 2021, uh, the T.S. Masson experience, I really didn't get an opportunity to bask in that experience because it was so, I was looking for how could we not, how, how was this not perfect? How yeah. was this not right? Yeah. How, you know, and, I, and I, I felt like that I missed the moments of really enjoying that. Madison, you sold a television show to a major network. Yeah. Madison, you sold a talk show to a major network. So I, I'm, I, I have to absorb that. And I thank you for telling me that. Welcome. So let me stick in that in and say this is this is not your first time around, Mama. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I want to say that you are a great personality and you're fine with the junk in the trunk that you're working <laughs> with. So <laughs> sure. I'd be surprised to hear you just speak very well as well. So <laughs> that's that. Um, but one of my questions is I see that we're going TS this and Madison that and you, I, you know, I say Maddie, but mm-hmm. what is the TS for? That's my first part of the question real quick. Well, the TS meant a lot of things when they when they meant it. Like back in the day, I, um, it meant for it, it meant transsexual because when I was when when I was in the sex work industry, um, it, we had to uh, uh, um, show the difference between GG, which we called them, there was like genetic girls, and TS, which was transsexual. And so yeah, that's how it worked then when I was when, back then. But what? But you said sex I, work. 
Yeah, trap. when I was, I was, I was in that. I was into that because you know that's that's some of the cards that mo- a lot of Black trans women have been dealt. You know, not all of us have been dealt those cards, but okay. some of us have been dealt those cards. And oh. you know, I, 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 I wanted to become a beacon, you know, for girls who are wanting a way out of that. You know, just like, hey, you know, you don't have to do that. But oh. I will say now the TS means trendsetter, Madison, honey. Come on, yes. Okay. I got to both shots. Now. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. See, and this is to me, this is the type of interview that I like. I like to ask questions that makes me go, oh, I got some tea that I didn't know nothing about. So yes. thank you for that. Absolutely. Yes, I know we want more of that juicy kind of stuff on your show. Oh, so you'll get it. Show you'll get it. Called Turned Out mm-hmm. with, with T.S. Madison. Yes. Why that so title? Why that title, Madison? Why? Why did well, you- because you know what? I, I, it was a play on you know people <laughs> always thinking that you 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 get over here, you get involved with 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 uh with with uh, trans people or LGBT people, you about to get turned, or they're oh, gonna God. turn you out. So bring <laughs> come over here and get turned out with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, what can you tell about me about the show? What can well, you tell me about the show? The show is fun. It's funny. Uh, it's comedic. Uh, we do little sketches here and there. Um, I'm interviewing a mixture of LGBT people, cis people, pansexual people. Like I, my show is open for the world. I want the world to come and sit down and learn about, you know, the guests that we have on the show. And also I want the way, the key to making someone really understand something is if you can make them laugh, you can teach them. Mm. And I just, I've always had that gift of, of making people laugh. And then after I've made them laugh, I could, I could teach them something, you know, my, my journey has, has not been the best. And, you know, I was involved in a, in a, in a secular lifestyle that I really, I'm not proud of it. However, I'm not ashamed of it either. And Mm -hmm. I usually take moments from those dark moments in my life and I turn it into comedy so that I can actually teach you that, this was a, a, a dark experience for me. I want you to laugh so that while I, and now now I have while I have your attention, let me tell you what's going on in the world. You know, for people like myself, so you know you can you can see it from the perspective of you know I never thought about it like that. You know, a lot of the great comedians they actually come from a really dark place, and that's mm-hmm. how they're able to make everybody else laugh through their pain. Like that's their their survival tactic mm-hmm. and mechanism. So that explains why you're so great at this. You have a lot of comments, people in the in the chat, they are lighting this thing up with the lipsticks, saying how pretty you are, TS trendsetter. They're saying the TS yeah. uh, tr- <laughs> They're also saying truly special. Yes, and um, I, I know this is a big moment. We've been talking for almost a year about this. And I got to come down to set and, um, and, and you know, we working together on this. And I saw how, how, how much of a perfectionist you are and how much is going into this. And you are putting your heart and soul into this show. And um, I just want to ask you before we go, what do you want people to take away from your show? And one last thing also. T.S. Madsen does not have a show on Fox Soul or does not have the success that she has because she's transgender and people say, oh, it's it's, it's a trend. Whether T.S. Madsen was cis, trans, gay, straight, whatever, the personality and the heart and the humor is why she has a show. (laughs) It's that first. And that's why people resonate. And it's not just about one community. She's about everybody. Everybody. And can I say that she's done the work Um, Mm -hmm. you know, that you've come from, you know, that you took something and was able to catapult it into something else that you took the negative and turned it into the positive. I commend you for that, that you you didn't play victim, that you didn't let one moment define your future. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So I want to say what I want the people to take away from this show is I want people to laugh and I want them to learn, but I also want them to see me or and see everyone as equal human beings on this yes. earth. I don't want you to think that I'm a, I, I want you to give me special privileges because I'm trans and I don't want I don't want to give you special tri- privileges because you're cis. I want us to live in this in this world uh, in harmony and understand that we are human. Before we're anything, we are human yes. first. And yes. I want people to take that away from this show. Exactly. You you said it best. And you're so much more than that. I know people want to just like let you leave with that. But no, we're not having that. You're leading with your talent, your heart, your personality. And you're just the bomb. And we love you here, Fox Soul. I love you guys. I love you. I want to say this before I go. I have to say this. 
I am so honored to sit amongst such amazing women. You, all of you women have careers that have, that have inspired me to want to be a great woman myself. Like each and every one of you here on this panel are queens by all rights. You have earned your spot. You have influenced the world. And I, I heard you ladies talking about earlier how um, you, you might do something awkward on social media. Honey, we built this. You you went, you women built this stuff for me. <laughs> Look at the problem. I oh, counted $140,000 for you. That's how you know. <laughs> Becky gonna blow up the bank. Okay. <laughs> and, my, and Diamond over there that made me want to yes. go in there and see like you're ready. And Claudia, oh my God, the way you read, my God, today, it's oh, okay. issues. I just want to give you ladies your flowers because you, you. you are definitely queens and I love you and you all have inspired me and you you possibly might see pieces of you on Turned Out with Tia. Ooh, yeah. Hello. Well, Thank we cannot you. wait and Maddie, we, it, it could have happened to a better person. You can catch the premiere of Turned Out with T.S. Madison tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern only exclusively because we got to here on Fox Soul. Thank you so much for joining us, T.S. Madison. Thank and you, make Queen. Sure support I'm her and follow her on all her social media platforms. We love you. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, ladies. Bye. 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 We'll be right back with more cocktails with Queens after this. And y'all better set your DVRs or whatever y'all do to make sure you don't miss this show tomorrow. All right. We'll see you in a few oh. minutes.